Um, which of the following maternal conditions is most likely to be associated with the patient's ultrasound findings? Gestational diabetes, hypertensive disorder, um, intrauterine growth restriction, or maternal maternal dehydration or placental placenta previa. A 28-year-old woman at 36 weeks gestation was pre presented to the clinic for a routine prenatal visit. The ultrasound examination reveals a reduced amniotic fluid volume. The fetus is noted to have normal growth par parameters and no abnormalities are detected. Which of the following maternal conditions is most likely to be associated with this patient's ultrasound findings? Um, I'm pretty sure that gestational diabetes is polyhydramnios. So this is oligohydramnios. Um, so I'm going to say no to gestational diabetes. Um, I reduce fluid, reduce amniotic fluid volume. And there's nothing wrong with the, with the baby itself. Um, I would probably, I'm leaning towards, um, well, intrauterine growth restriction. No, I don't know. Oh man. My gut is leaning towards hypertensive disorders. Um, I don't really have a fantastic reason. I'm just, my, my thinking right now is like, maybe there's, I always thought that oligohydramnios was, was caused by the baby, rather not swallowing enough or not peeing enough. Okay. And so I don't know, 100%. My other one is thinking is intrauterine growth restriction. And so I would probably get rid of everything else, but I don't know. Okay. I'm, so I'm probably going to keep your gut answer choice in, yeah? You good with keeping your gut answer choice? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Are they, yes. <laughs> All right, perfect. Yeah. yeah, so this is interesting, right? I actually didn't know this, right? Um, very weird question because you always get asked by, like you said, the, the fetus, right? Um, but it seems like if you, I mean, it kind of makes sense, I guess, in a sense, right? If you're dehydrated, I guess your mom can't help you create the amniotic fluid. So it yeah. makes sense. But um, just say, I mean, this is something we learn from. I mean, I'm learning just with you because most of the questions that they do ask you about is, is baby, right? Um, if baby can't pee, you're going to have oligo, right? If baby is, you know, um, can't swallow it, then you're going to have polyhydramnios, right? But they never talk about uh, maternal. So this makes sense in my mind, right? If if mom doesn't have enough fluids, then not going to be able to create amniotic fluid. If you're gestational diabetes, it's kind of, in my mind, it makes sense too. Everything's bigger. So I guess more fluid there. Mm -hmm. Hypertensive disorders um, can lead to... Yeah, so preeclampsia, things like that, but not isolated oligo. And then intrauterine growth restriction, the fetus is going to be smaller, so you know this is not going to be the case. Placenta previa, right? Um, vaginal bleeding, but doesn't cause oligohydramnios. So. Yeah.